Hello you guys, so today we are going to be talking about this portion of the body. I want to talk about the neck area and I want to give you guys some tips and some tricks on um, what you can do to keep it looking as young for as long as possible. Um, you know those little commercials that come on that show the surgery of where the ladies like their neck is like sagging and you can go get a surgery done that tightens it up and I remember one time I was sitting there and I was like yo if that ever happens to me like if my neck ever starts to sag like that like I am going to go get some super glue a staple gun something and I'm going to tighten it myself okay but like nobody wants to age you don't want to age you want to stay looking as young as possible for as long as possible so I feel it I know I know okay so because I think people take a lot of care in this right here but they don't really care about this right here and then that morning you can just wake up and then your neck looks like you're 90 and your face you look like you're 30 and you're like yo what in the heck happened so let's get into the tips and the tricks that I have and that I use to share with you guys how to keep that neck looking young okay my number one tip and I live by this to a T and I think this is what help will help a lot of people, I think if you don't do anything else, do this, okay? Do what you do with your face to your neck, okay? So that means when you wash your face, bring it down to your neck and you wash down to your neck. When you moisturize, moisturize your neck as well. When you exfoliate, exfoliate your neck as well. When you do your face mask, bring them down to your neck and your chest area, okay? Well, no. Actually, face mask, I just take mine down in my neck. I don't take it down in my chest area. But what you do to this portion right here, do it to this portion right here, okay? Make sure you are moisturizing, exfoliating, um, and giving that a mask as well because that skin is just as delicate and it's just as, needs as much love as your face does. So whatever you do to your face, do it to your neck. Sun exposure. Now, sun exposure is one of them things that I cannot stress enough. Sun exposure, um, using sunscreens, staying out of the sun, using hats, um, not exposing yourself to the sun too much because that damages the skin. We're talking about fine lines, we're talking about wrinkles, we're talking about skin cancer. And none of those things are any fun. So it's just over time, being in the sun too much, that can just make your age your skin age it can make your neck age it can make your face age and of course getting sun exposure is good it is healthy for you you do get your vitamin from it your vitamin D from the sun but you just want to be careful how much sun you're exposing yourself to so and if you are exposing yourself to the sun make sure you are using sunscreen um, the next thing will be your weight okay so if you're yo-yoing your diet if you're going up and down in your diet like this or in your weight like this that can have a major major stretch on the skin okay the skin of course can stretch and go back of course but if you're continually with a rubber band for example if you're stretching it continually stretching it stretching it stretching stretching it eventually that, that rubber band gets so warm it doesn't even snap back into place think of that like your skin so the skin on your neck if you're going up and down in weight and your skin is stretching and going back and stretching and going back Sooner or later, it's not going to go back. It's just going to stay stretched. And then you're going to have that sagging and, you know, you're going to have to go underneath the knife to tighten that up or fix it. So, yeah. So just yo-yo dieting um, and going up and down in weight can really um, stretch the skin and cause it to sag. So try not to do that. And my next tip would be to massage, okay? Massage the face and massage the neck with... Um, your oil of choice and make sure you're doing it in an upward circular motion and actually I'm going to demonstrate for you how I do that with my skin right now so I'm going to show you right now bare faced right now and I wanted to show you guys um, how I massage in my oils or whatever what I'm using for my face now lately I have been using two oils for my face and it has been a mixture of the almond oil natural unrefined almond oil and jojoba oil okay so I'm just going to take um I'm, I've been combining them lately so I'm just going to show you guys really quickly what I do 
when I apply my oils, I make sure to apply them all the way down my neck, okay? And this is jojoba oil that I'm using. And then I just take my fingers and I massage it into my skin. Now, when it comes to my neck, I like to go in an upward motion when it comes to my neck. I feel like um, that helps with helps to keep everything in an upward <laughs> in an upward motion. And you know, when I was in cosmetology school, um, when you would do facials, you would always do facials up. You would never pull the face down. You just want to make sure that you're going up with the face and the neck, lifting everything in an upward motion, upward motion, and kind of a circular motion, just to get the blood flowing and everything so that's what I do and then I'm just going to take a little bit of my almond oil on my fingers and I'm going to continue that process um, starting from my neck so then I just go from my neck with a little bit of almond oil and make sure to go up into the face so just making sure to massage and then I take it down into my collarbone and into my chest. Just like that. And that is how I massage in my oils for um, my skin care and my neck care. So you want to make sure to massage the oils in in a, in a circular motion or in an upward motion. Um, that goes for your face too. You just want to make sure you're bringing everything up and that just gets the blood circulating and keeping everything nice and plump, okay? So after that, my next tip would be oils and butters, okay? I live by oils and butters. Do I have to talk about coconut oil again? Do I have to talk about coconut oil again? Okay, no, I won't. Coconut oil, you guys, coconut oil, you guys know how I feel about it off the back it has so many great benefits for the skin as far as like keeping it supple and keeping that glow to the skin and just you guys already know how I feel. Um, another couple of oils that I really like for the skin are jojoba oil, almond oil, vitamin E oil, and shea butter. Shea butter is another one. It's it's great for anti-aging, keeps away those fine lines, those wrinkles. Um, th these oils um, and butters, by putting them into your skin regimen, they just nourish the skin, keep it healthy looking, okay? It's going to keep that skin healthy, and that is the main thing, to stay away from that sagging neck and just, you know, getting those wrinkles in the neck and all that. You just really want to make sure that you are nourishing it, okay? So using oils and butters um, on the neck will really help to keep it nice and um moisturize and all that good stuff so my last tip would be water okay so water 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 is a crucial thing for our bodies you need to drink lots of water to make sure that your skin takes stays hydrated um drink your water ladies drink your water stay away from sodas and all that replace it with your water okay um make sure that you are just getting a good getting a good intake of water usually I think I would drink about two to three of these and then so yeah you just want to make sure that you are drinking your water as well as you know just eating right you know making sure that you're taking care of your diet eating your fruits your vegetable your vegetables it all goes hand in hand what you do on the inside of the body you can see on the outside of the body so I'm just you know that's another thing that I stand firm behind you know if you want to see healthy skin um, if you want to keep your skin looking as young as you can, just make sure that you are taking care of the outside of your skin as well as the inside, which is what you eat. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys in a later video. Bye!